And joining us now for more in the studio, we have Gilad Katz, a former political advisor to Prime Minister, former Prime Minister Netanyahu. And also joining us from the town of Renana, Alison Kaplan Summer, a journalist for Haaretz. And Gilad, I, first I should note Benjamin Netanyahu after that comment by David Amsalem saying that Ram could join the coalition under certain circumstances, said he spoke only for himself. In no way, shape, or form is Ram going to be in the next coalition. But uh, David and Solomon is one of Benjamin Netanyahu's closest allies in the Likud. It suggests perhaps that Likud, Benjamin Netanyahu is going to have to get his house in order as he goes into elections. Look, we just have been, we, we haven't even begun the campaign, and uh, in the Likud specifically, they have the primaries um, as opposed to the rest of the almost all the other uh, parties. Um, I think this was, uh, I would say, a hiccup. Before the beginning of the campaign, uh, it happens from time to time, and we'll see once the campaign begins and things will start steady down. We'll see all you know they'll they'll march like like the Likud members want them to march because as as I said earlier, the Likud party has its primaries. They are voted. They have to uh, uh, stand up to the expectations of the members of the Likud. And uh, once the, the, the government will topple tomorrow and the campaign will begin, I think we'll see things will steady down a little. Now, Alison, you could respond to that. But also, uh, Prime Minister Bennett making a comment that members of the, let's call they the anti-Netanyahu coalition, found problematic, saying he would like a government that goes from Mansour Abbas to uh, Ben Inamar ben Vir of the far-right religious Zionism party, which many in the current coalition is in, find objectionable, suggesting it may be hard to craft that broad, diverse coalition against Netanyahu that we saw over the past year. Well, I think that if you're going to say it's difficult to put together this fantasy coalition that would include Inamar ben Gvir on the far racist, kahanist right um, with Mansour Abbas, the Islamic party is more like a fantasy than just hard to uh, to put together. Um, I think this was more of a more than a hiccup. The uh, the M. Salem episode that uh, unfolded today. If it was a hiccup, they would just try to downplay it. But instead, um, it, it dominated the headlines all day. The Likud, um, headed by Netanyahu, coming down hard on M. Salem for going off message. Um, because you know their their strongest tactic all of this uh, past year against uh, against Naftali Bennett was the fact that he sat in a government with Mansour Abbas with the United uh, uh, Arab List, and so for a Likud party member like Am Salem, who's known to be close to Netanyahu, to suggest that this is something that the Likud could possibly do uh, was something that needed strong punishment, and that's exactly what he got. He got kind of mixed up because during the campaign, you have to say that you would never even consider sitting with the United Arab List. And then after the elections, when you see that you can't form a government without them, that's when you go and you break your promise and you do end up sitting with them if uh, Ben Gvir's party, if um, the religious Zionist party would actually let you do that. And that's really the biggest factor, not whether the Likud would sit with the bus but whether the Ben Gvir party would allow him to sit with Right, them. well, of course, you can respond to that. But also, the Likud, you mentioned primaries. All polls show the Likud either just about or even falling a bit short of that coalition they would need. Uh, what do you think of the idea about bringing some, maybe bringing some, some more figures in the right on Likud? Talk about, for example, Ayala Chaked, a, 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 for some, a popular figure on the right who doesn't have a political home. Uh, I first want to talk yeah, about sure. Am Salim. Am Salim is uh, a prominent uh, uh, member of the Likud, the uh, member Knesset of the Likud, but he is not the one who decides the policy. And once the policy is decided by Netanyahu, he is the head of the Likud for many years, then everyone has to stand behind him. And once he didn't stand behind him, Netanyahu comes up to uh, Am Salim and tells him that this is not according to uh, their their policy. Therefore, he, he 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 she called him. He punished him. I didn't see it as a punishment. I think he 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 raised his voice, telling or or trying to 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 set the path in the future in the coming campaign. That's for uh, Am Salim. Uh, regarding Ayelet Shaked, I think Ayelet Shaked 
is uh, is not she's not considered to be a new player. I mean, she's already in the game for many right. years. I don't see her as a big promise for the for the right wing voters. What I can see is there is Shikli, uh, Amichai Shikli, who uh, is still, con you know, he's working on, he still didn't announce having uh, his own party. Uh, but today there are four uh, national wing parties, right wing parties, right. the Likud, Tzionut uh, Datit, and, and the two uh, ultra-Orthodox uh, parties. You, you're right, according to all the polls, they are around the 60 uh, right. seats. And I think that in the coming campaign, which is about four or five right. months, they will have to try and scratch another two or three mandate seats, because if they won't right. be able to do that, they won't have a majority.